So when it comes to this whole topic, man, WNBA, I don't want to hear nothing anymore about 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 equal pay and, and getting paid because y'all had an opportunity, y'all had a golden opportunity to make some money and y'all pissed on it. Y'all totally didn't care about the opportunity anymore. Y'all have the, the, the chance to grow the game globally. So when you grow the game globally because everybody's watching and more people are tune, you're gonna make more money. And the bottom line is they've been crying about not getting paid the last few years. Now you got a chance to get paid. But because Caitlin's the reason you're going to get paid, now it's a problem. Take advantage of it, young ladies. Y'all have a chance. Y'all have a gold mine. And then people are like, oh, she won't. She's, she's not top 15 player. She's not. She averages, she, she averages top 20 in the league. She's top five in assists. And she still gets, and she still gets five rebounds. I can't see that, Rudy. You muted it. The WNBA is expected to lose $50 million this year despite recent popularity. The league is reportedly hard-pressed to exist without the NBA. Yeah, they're spending said. more money before they get it. So you have a chance to grow the game globally. Globally. That means everybody's watching. More people are going to be in tune. Now, just like the NBA, when they grow the game globally and now the European players became good and they had to come to this come to our league and, and it became more amazing to watch and, and the game got more entertaining. We got people who could shoot the ball from – 30 feet and 25 feet, and we were all in tune, and we were able to see what we could provide. Y'all got a chance right now, and y'all say no. How that make any <clears> sense? <throat> y'all talking about she's not good enough to be on the roster. She's top 20 in scoring. She's top five in assists. <laughs> she's five, averaged five rebounds a game as a point guard. Y'all telling me she's not physical enough to, to, to play in the, on the next level. So she's not good enough to be number 12 on the roster, and people are not going to watch come to watch her because she's the 12th person on the roster and she wouldn't play. Why wouldn't she play? They, they won eight gold medals. They win most of the games by 50 points, 60 points. So she can't get 10 minutes a game when, they're, when the game's a blowout. You can't develop her when the game's a blowout. Yeah, like every game is going to be close. They had one close game a couple of years ago and now we're like we're holding that against her. Well, that one close game, what if, what if we had her on the roster? As the 12th person, then you won't have to play her. You still are playing 11 other players before her. Okay, if that game she doesn't play, she doesn't play. But the other five, six games of, of competing and making the tournament or, you know, getting into the tournament, she could play those games when they're up 30 or shit. She could play when the game is damn close. The girl knows how to play basketball. She could sit in the corner. And like I said before, is either you're going to go over there and help or you're not going to help. You're going to leave a person like her to shoot the ball open. Her shooting percentage is down, like Rudy said. Because she's hunting for all of her shots. She has to go get it off the dribble. There's not one time where Caitlin Clark is wide-ass open sitting there and gets a chance to, to, to fill the fucking laces on the ball and, and, and get real comfortable and shoot the ball. No, she has to be fading to the left every time. She never, when the last time you seen her shoot a set three? I seen her shoot one, and it was from 35 feet out. Because <laughs> they set a screen, and she yeah. was 35 feet out, and she knocked it down. But when did she set had a chance to shoot an open shot when, it, when she's playing with all these other great players where they won't be able to give her that attention. She's going to knock down shots, and I think she'll shoot it better than anybody in the league if she had a chance to shoot it without being freaking open. Now, what are we talking about here? The, 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 the physicality of it. So they've been able to get physical with the rest of the team, USA, and they still lose by 40. So you're telling me that Team Canada and, and all these other teams are – are, are, are going to be able to, to, to hold her down and be physical with her. Well, I think Canada's okay. Um, there's some other teams that damn God awful. <laughs> what are y'all? So what are y'all really talking about? At the end of the day, y'all don't like the girl. Y'all don't like the, what everything that she's bringing. Y'all don't like the, the entertainment, the, the, the fans that she's bringing, and y'all don't like that the fans are hyped and want to see her because y'all talking about well, all these players before her did this and did that, and they pay their dues. They weren't interested, damn it. That's what it was. Oh, y'all just came here. Yeah, you're yeah, damn right we just got here. You know why we just got here? Because we found somebody who we found interesting to watch. The rest of y'all were not interested to watch. So y'all paved the way, but there's still brick walls right in front of y'all. She came and knocked those brick walls down. Y'all really didn't pave the way 
because y'all paved the way in y'all own rights. But in the bigger picture, y'all did not pave the way because we did not come to watch it. Nobody did. And then there's going to be a couple of people, well, I've been here since yada, yada, yada. Well, you're speaking for yourself. Kudos to you. I gave you a fucking round of applause. But the rest of us in the general, we weren't there. And that's what y'all need to get the masses, not just the five people that said, yeah, I've been here since 1998, and I've been watching these games since Maya Moore and Lisa Leslie and mm-hmm. Candace Parker and, and Sharon Swoops. No. Okay, I'm... I'm Brianna Stewart, all these people, none of them people move the needle like this girl has moved the needle at the end of the day. This is what we want to watch. Give it to us, please. Damn it, I don't care. <laughs> Somebody else could get off the team. Or is there only a rule that there only could be 12 players? Add a 13. I don't know. Fit with all right, 12 players. Well, somebody has to go, damn it. The 12th person has to go. And and there's people that's hurt. There's people that can, that can be out and we'll be okay with it. Nobody would have batted a fucking eye except for the people that's really mad about or not being there, but guess oh, what? And, but and guess then what? the people what? y'all would have uh-huh. gone to watch the fucking game, though. I guarantee y'all watch the game. Will. You there. Thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel. Thank you.